Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, this is another digital note-taking video and I will be showing you an updated version on how to take aesthetic notes on Google Docs and how you can download and use the template. Disclaimer, this is a simple setup or template. It is not so grand, but I hope that you got some ideas on how you can make your notes aesthetically pleasing. And yes, without further ado, Let's jump right into the video. So for the first thing that you're going to do is to search and open Google Docs on the net. Make sure that you are logged in on your Google account. Then click on the blank document and you will immediately have this blank page that you can work on later. Before we proceed to the note taking process, we have to search first for a color palette. So here I search for colorhunt.co, but you can also look for a color palette on Pinterest. So here on colorhunt.co, you will see a variety of color combinations. You can also choose a specific theme that you want. Here I choose an earthly tone color palette. You can also click the heart icon to save it to your collection. So once you see your desired color palette, click on it and you will eventually see the color codes of the specific colors. And you can also easily copy them. It also has this option if you want to save the photo and the link of it. Here I will go back to Google Docs and the first thing we have to do is to edit the page setup. To do that, go to the file tab, then click on the page setup option. Then this window will appear. So since I will be printing this on a B5 paper, I will set the page size to B5. But if you will use a letter size paper, then just click on that option. You can also change the page color by choosing the colors presented here on Google Docs or you can add a custom one. Next, I will be changing the margin measurements. So for the top, I set it to 0.39 inches, 0 inches on the bottom, and 0.52 inches on both sides. Lastly, you can either set it as a default page setup or you can just click OK. So after we modify the page setup, we can now open our draft, raw notes, your teacher's PowerPoint presentation, ebook, etc. So in here, I will make use of the headers so that it can automatically appear on the table of contents. First is to go to the format tab, then click on the paragraph styles option. Here I will be using first the header one, or you can use the title style. Then I will be copying the lesson title and paste it here in the document I'm currently working on. I will select the text and I will change the font. Click on the drop down menu on the font option and if you want to add more font styles, click on the more fonts option on the top. And you can now search for a font you want that fits your theme. Just click on it and it will automatically appear on my fonts section. Repeat the process, scroll, search, and click on the font you want to use on your notes. You can also search for a specific style you want. Google Docs includes some display, handwriting, monospace, serif, and sans serif styles. Once you're satisfied with the fonts you added, click on the OK button. I will just highlight the text again and I choose here the Comforta font, adjust the font size and alignment of the text. Next, I decided to change the font color of the text, but I want to use the color from the color palette. Then I will just go back to Google Docs and change the font color and you can just make some adjustments. So I want to make this a bit darker and then just click OK. I will add another space at the top and I will place here the subject and the date. I set the font size of this one to 9. And next I will adjust the line spacing of the text. Click here the remove space before paragraph option. Then I choose the 1.5 spacing so that it doesn't look too crowded. I set the subject and date text to normal text and set the font to Josephine Sans. And I also change the color. Next, just below the lesson title, I will be placing here the lesson number. Then I set this text to a subtitle style and for the font, I picked Comforta. Then I change its alignment. 
I also adjusted the line spacing a bit. Next, I will add a shape at the back of the text. So to do that, click on the insert tab, then the drawing option and choose new. I will then add a shape and I choose here the rounded edge rectangle shape. I will then change the shape fill, but I want to use a specific color from the palette. So I just copied the color code and I choose this light shade of yellow. I then paste the color code here and I also change the shape border to this darker shade of yellow. You can also change the border weight or the border thickness. Next, I duplicated here the shape and then I changed its shape fill to a darker shade of yellow which is the same color as with the border. I will just adjust it a bit then click the save and close button. Choose the behind text option so that you can place it behind the text. I'm just making some adjustments here. And if you want to edit the shape again, you can click the edit option. In here, I will just make the shape feel lighter. Next, I will add the second header. So I just copy and pasted this from the other document. And I change its alignment so it will be placed here in the middle. I will then change the font style to Canet and change its font color. I set the font size of this one to 13. And I will then add another drawing. Again, just click on the insert tab, then the drawing option. I will just add this rectangle shape and use the yellow color for the fill. I will also place it behind the text, then adjust the size. I just do some more adjustments. Click on Heading 2 and select Update Heading 2 to match. I will then go to the following line and I set this to Heading 3. After that, I pasted here the third header and I choose here the Josephine Sans font and a dark shade of brown for the font color. I will add here a bullet. So to change the style, highlight it, then click the more bullets option. You can see here a bunch of bullet designs you can choose from. Here I select this asterisk design. So once you select the bullet design you want to use, click on the X button to exit. I will adjust the font size of this one to 12.5 and then I select the textile option again and I choose heading 3. And then select the update heading 3 to match option. I will then proceed to add my notes. I'm just copying and pasting them here and then adjusting them with the use of ruler so that they will be aligned. And I used the font poppins for the notes and I set the font size to 10.5. Then I adjust the line spacing to single. So here I am adjusting the alignment of the text and then I just put some spaces on the dashes and change the bullet of the text to this hollow circle bullet design. Then I change the font color and alignment of the text. I will set this to a normal text so that whenever I will be using this format on my notes, I can just pick this text style. I will again repeat the process. I will paste here the third header or the terms and paste below the corresponding notes. So these are the three terms that is included in the second subheader. And I will now proceed to the other page and I will place here the other second subheader. So I just pasted the text here, select it, and choose Heading 2. I will also duplicate the shape that I used on the previous second header. Then I'm going to adjust it. Okay. 
Next, I pasted here the notes under that second header. So here, I select the text first and set the font to Poppins and I use the font size 10. Here, I am adjusting their alignment and line spacing. So for the term, I use the font Caveat Brush and I change the font size to 13. And I choose this shade of brownish, orange, rustic orange for the font color. I also decided to change the font color of the notes on the first page. Next, I will add another shape in here. Just go to the Insert tab, Drawing, and click New. And here, I choose this shape style. Change the shape fill and I will copy the color code from the palette. And I just made some adjustments. I duplicate the shape and change the shape fill to a darker shade so that it will serve as a shadow of the shape in front. I'm just making some adjustments here and if you're satisfied with it, click on the save button. So this is how it looks like. Next, I will be adding another second subheader and then I just duplicated the shape again. I'm just doing some adjustments here then I proceed to the third header. And I'm planning to make this a two column note. So I just press here the tab key to add some spaces. So this is ideal if you only include short or some few notes in this style. Then I just go to the next line and added notes under the terms. I'm just making some adjustments here so that the text will align on the correct term. And this is how it looks like as of the moment. Again, just making some more adjustments, their font size and line spacing. Next, I decided to add a shape here. Since there are still spaces on the first page, I will add here a shape and name it Notes. So that if I want to add additional notes after I print this, those that I forgot to include, I can place them here. I added an arrow and a text that says Note. I adjust their color and size. I will then place it here at the bottom. So after you did all of those, you can now apply highlighter on the essential or important terms. You can choose the highlighter colors on Google Docs or you can find some highlighter color codes on Pinterest or Google. So just type the color code of the highlighter you want. But in this case, I will just use the default highlighter colors here in Google Docs. So basically what I'm doing now is I'm just adding highlighters on those important terms. So what I like the most here on Google Docs is that you can easily access certain words in your document and just click it on the contents or the table of contents section. But just a reminder that the words or phrases included here are the ones on a header style. Now I will be showing you how you can download and use the template. So first is, of course, you have to open the Google Drive link that I included in the description box or in the pinned comment. Then the Google Docs tab will automatically appear. This is the template I made. I also included here the link to the color palette and the fonts I used. So what you have to do first is you have to log in to your Google account to access the template. I will just use here my personal Gmail account. And after that, please don't click on the request edit option. So what you have to do is to click on the file tab, then click the make a copy option. 
and you can name it with whatever you want because this will be your copy of the document. Then select a specific folder on your drive where you want to save it. So here I decided to add a folder and I will name this templates. Then just click select and OK. And with that, you already have your own copy that you can edit and modify. But wait before you edit them, go to your Google Drive and then click on the folder where you saved the template earlier. Again, before you edit it, make a copy first of the template and you can now start editing the copied version. Just add your notes there and keep in mind that this is in the size B5. So if you're going to use a letter size paper, just edit the page setup, the margins, and adjust the fonts and shape sizes. Add a file name to this so that you will not be confused about your documents. And with that, you can now move the notes of your specific subject to their respective folders so that you will be more organized. If you want to use the template again, you can just make a copy of it and then edit the template. Now I will be showing you how you can print them on a loose leaf paper. For the first page, the holes of the paper should be on the right side of the printer. And on your computer, go to the file tab and then click print. I will just disable the headers and borders option and make sure that the page size is correct. And for the scale menu, I will choose the default option. And then for the pages, I will include here the first page of the document, then click print. To print on the other side of the paper, just flip it and make sure that the holes this time is on the left side of the printer. I will then change the page number to be printed to page 2 and make sure that the print preferences are correct, then click print. And this is how they look like. And yes, that is all for today's video guys. I would like to thank you again for supporting and watching my videos. We just hit 30k subbies this week and we're now at 33k. This is just so surreal and I'm just grateful to you all. Again, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this one. So if you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to subscribe. And yeah, so that is all. Thank you so much guys for watching and see you on my next video. Bye guys!